guys and welcome back to Media Man Dan. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel and I am super excited to tell you guys that I am upset. There is things that go on behind the scenes that you will never actually know unless someone exposes them and that brave soul today is JCV47. Joseph Valentino down in Florida. I think it's time that I start literally spilling some tea. Because I can't stand this shit. I can't stand when rights are taken away, when they are agreed upon, and then they all go away from everything. I'm wearing the exact same shirt. I'm in the exact same position I was just about a month ago when I made the reaction to one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. And one of the best videos I've ever seen was completely taken down by two big selfish assholes that couldn't get through their life without ruining it for other people. So I get to hear the entire story straight from JCV himself. We're going to be watching my reaction to JCV exposing for those who fought. Everyone get ready, because this is going to be a really good time. And I have no problem swearing, because my monetization isn't even there yet. So, just... Ah! So irritating. Fuck for those who fought. Nobody should listen to their music. They don't even have any music anymore. Everything that they did have has been taken away because they decided to get rid of it. Joseph had nothing to do with their decision to end everything. And I'm excited to find out the actual truth of what happened. That was weird. Somebody just jacked my stream. I don't know what happened there. Someone just like jumped in and started speaking some truth. And oh, I hope that it hurt some feelings because mm, I just can't stand injustice going on when it comes to the music business. And you guys are supposed to be friends and you're supposed to be on the same side. And when you have creative rights over your own lyrics, over your own music, you're supposed to keep that forever. Is this thing on? How does this thing work? <laughs> I sure hope it's on. The truth is... Boy, do we have a lot to talk about. The truth is, I really, really did not want to have to make this video, but I have been given no other choice. There we go. I really didn't want things to get ugly. I really wanted to keep things as professional and mature as possible, but unfortunately, that's not always how life works out because of people and how they handle things because not everyone's going to handle things the way that you would in every situation. And that's a lesson I have definitely learned time and time again. I was in a band from 2017 through 2019. That's what I see, by the way, guys. You're, you're not missing some super impressive light show right now. It's, it's just him talking, but I'll let you know if there's any images when that come up. When I departed from the band, I did release a departing statement that can still be found deep in my Instagram. And I announced everything pretty much as if everything was done mutually and... The fact that we were still friends and everything was cool and not to send them any hate and everything like that and i feel like i handled everything pretty professionally they chose not to release a statement at all now i'm going to have to unfortunately expose a lot of the uh things that i did not include in that departure statement if you guys so need to hear it louder let me know i can bring the speaker a little bit closer the truth on what really happened with my previous bands I will not be using any specific names, and I will not be including the band's name in this video. I will. not give them any more exposure than they already have used for me. I don't feel the need to use names, and I don't want this to come off as slander. All I want this to come off Doesn't as bother me at all. is the raw... Took away my favorite song. Of everything that you gotta pay for it. ...that nobody wants to come out and talk about. So, here I am, talking about it, because of the fact that I was copyright striked for re-releasing the Atlas music video. It was removed by my friends. Grab the popcorn. Grab the tea. We and got this. We're going to get through this YouTube together. Strike on my channel. If you don't know what a YouTube strike is, it is a legal strike against your channel. And if you get three strikes on your YouTube channel, you are subject to be terminated from YouTube permanently. Previously, 
they had their unofficial manager and very close friend that was heavily involved in everything with the band contact me back in February of 2021. He contacted me saying that he wanted me to remove the story highlights on my Instagram of our live show footage. I had no problem with this, so I was like, you know what? It's cool because I plan to eventually re-upload longer versions of that on my YouTube channel and I didn't need it in my highlight section of Instagram and if that made a big deal, cool. I'm easy going, it's good. So I took it down and he proceeded to tell me, these are not exact quotes, but he did proceed to give me permission and tell me, which I have screenshot proof of, um, that I can post the full songs of the EP if I want. I can post any footage or anything containing the music that we made in this band together. As long as I did not include the band name or any of their names. He literally told me that none of them wanted credit. But if I did not credit them and if I did not include the band's name, then we were cool. So I was like, okay, that's a little strange that you guys wouldn't want to be credited for the work that you put into this, but I will honor your wishes if that's what you want. So obviously I proceeded to plan months worth of content from my, the era of my previous bands that I wanted to show to you guys. And I have so many new followers that have never even heard or seen this because they found me within the recent couple of years after the fact I was in the band and didn't even know about these songs, never heard them. And I was planning on releasing so much extra stuff from behind the scene footage and live show footage and everything, music video, lyric videos, so many different things just because of the fact that I am still proud of and still happy with the music that we made. I did all the vocal work, all the vocals was done by me, and I was the lyric writer of all six songs. Instrumentally, producing, everything else was a few of the others. I did all the vocals and the lyric work. I never claimed to do anything more than that, and I'm still not claiming to do anything more than that. I would never claim to do work that wasn't mine. But we had that understanding and agreement that I have screenshot proof of in Instagram DMs, giving me permission to, to use it. So I was a little bit confused one night when I woke up and all of a sudden I couldn't find the Atlas music video on my YouTube channel when I went to go check the comment section to start replying to a bunch of you guys that were commenting on it. So I checked my computer and I saw it wasn't on my computer either. And then I went into my channel creator dashboard and saw I received a strike that was sent by the previous band's name. So For those obviously who fought, I was not it. happy about this. <laughs> I was reasonably pretty pissed off because I had already been told that it was okay on their own. He reached out to me to tell me that while he told me to remove the other stuff, which I removed off my Instagram. To respond to the person and that just said it's a scandal. Now, instead of a yes, text message. This is minor, like simple, but still hey, very important. You using it. Even if Knowing that this is one of my favorite and artists and me, friends, you know, I want him to get hey, all the support like he could possibly get right? for making one of the best songs name. I've ever heard. We, 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 they know how to find me on social media. And instead they just chose to go straight to legally attacking me and sending a strike to my channel. You would think after working with guys for a few years that it would be at least decent enough after one of their closest friends and unofficial manager, basically, and videographer literally gave me permission, telling me on his own it was okay to release everything. That at the very least, they could have given me a text or call telling me or asking me to remove it because they don't want it up. And then we could have discussed things. But no, instead, the band I was with for three years chose to legally attack me instead of reaching out to me through my phone number, which they all have, my Instagram, which they all know, and any other... Yeah, guys, Joseph is one of my I idols, made this clear. which I made clear as as I know, in my video that is now not able to be seen to because of selfish but assholes. I will come out and say... Thanks to them, this video had to be created instead of something and like... Definitely getting hyped up for what Joseph's got next. Stabs me in the back. But that's okay. I like this. 
This is fun like to I expose said, we'll stupidity. Names, so we'll just call them band member A and band member B. And then for the friend that reached out to me, telling me I had permission for everything, we'll call him their manager because that's basically what he acted like and what they treated him as in most cases. I love that you day. hide the names. It's I contacted perfect. band member A as soon as I saw this strike and I texted him. I have not talked to him in a long time. He hasn't talked to me. I haven't talked to him. And so I said, hey, I hope you're doing good. And I asked him, did you or one of the guys send a copyright strike to my channel? Because I had the understanding that it was okay via text messages from manager. I sent him the screenshots to, you know, make sure he knew in case he didn't know that the manager told me that. He replied back, not with anything like as if he knows me. He replies back like a legal robot, basically saying that, yes, sorry for the misunderstanding. Um... Everything is under the band name's name, and therefore we own the rights to the music video, the lyric videos, and the songs, and blah, 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 blah. Basically just saying a bunch of legal robot crap about how they technically have the copyright over everything, and saying sorry for miscommunication. So not even treating me like I was the singer in a band that you were a part of for the last three years, just... Acting like you just are like treating me like you're an AI bot, basically. I uh, obviously was not satisfied with that response and basically proceeded to explain to band member A that I don't understand, you know, why this is a problem. And I never did this in a way to attack you guys. There's no reason of me re-releasing this like that would attack you i don't really see how why that's a bad thing for you guys if anything i thought it would be better exposure and if he had a problem with the fact that i didn't credit them then i gladly would have because i'm not that type of person i credit people where it's due regardless of how they did me um so i would have been willing and still would be willing to credit them if it joseph is a great person these, uh, that's why he didn't want to get to this level songs onto my youtube channel to basically have it's not in his know, blood to, to go for revenge be able to be but he was losing everything that he wanted to do and, and he had rights to do that that's why this is happening so i put my heart and soul and passion into the lyrics that i wrote for all six of these songs i was very proud of and still am proud of and still i'm happy about what we made i can't say the same for band member a and b at least because it seems like they are like ashamed of it now. I don't know. And they won't express to me why exactly that they don't want all this out. All they've told me was that they feel like it is a misrepresentation of the bands and we should all strive to put out new content. So, uh, so that was my response. If it ain't I'm broke, don't fix to it. Say that they are all talented musicians. All of them are super insanely talented at their respective instruments. And all the studio work that was put into it, that those had a part of with the producing stuff and everything, that was all them. Like, that, you know, they, they did an amazing job. And I've always said that when I was in the bands, since I've left the bands, and I still am saying it, even after being done dirty by the bands. Um, I won't deny talent and I won't deny credit and work where it's due. So I proceeded to explain about how, you know, happy and proud of I was of this music in the text message and replying to band member A and how I put my heart and soul into the lyrics, which you should already know that. We put all this time and work into the music video that we made and all these other different things and explain to them that I just don't see what the problem is and he keeps coming back with me with a bunch of like, you know, blah, blah, blah legal stuff and just saying how they have the rights to things and basically they don't, they don't want it. They don't want it to be up and they don't endorse a re-release on my YouTube channel. I also did include the fact that they could have reached out to me and asked me for If you guys wanted to watch um, the video in full, I'll put it in the description well of this so stream. Um, but I will be unlisting the stream probably after about an hour or so. Just, just let just people watch like, it if they want to. All the legal stuff that and then I'm going to edit it and put it back out just so it's more professional and you can see what's going on the whole time. that you can't even own up to text or call me on your own. To just say it to my face or to say it through the phone at the least or something like that. Instead of just going to legally attacking me without saying a word to me. That just sounds, that just seems very cowardish and very immature for someone who never did anything wrong to them. I, 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 I'm not trying to be conceited here, but I've never done anything bad or wrong to them. 
And if I did, I would love for them to tell me what that was that I did to them. Because the way that they are acting of wanting to disassociate from me and the JCW47 brands and everything from the van, like, they want to disassociate the, the, their van from me so much. I mean, it's ridiculous. I just, I don't understand what I did that, like, that makes them that much. I have my guesses, that's for sure. But... Your hair was you know, too beautiful, really Joseph. That's why. They're just jealous. Just so you guys know, I tried and tried so hard to keep a mature conversation and do everything that I possibly could to try to... They didn't want know, the guy that looked the most metalcore to be in a metalcore band. Music. Makes a lot of sense. I saw the picture with them earlier. The copyright. The copyright is You're the only one that fits band there. Band. And band member A has access to the distributor account. I used to have access to that. But the night that they kicked me out of the bands, <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you guys didn't know about that either. We're going to get to that very shortly. The night that they kicked me out of the bands, they already changed the password to all the social media, the distributor account, everything without even telling me, just all changed. So I had no access to it. Therefore, they have, band member A has access to that distributor account that has all the copyrights and everything under the band's name. So they then legally own the band's name because I have no access to it anymore now. All of a sudden, because they just changed the password on me and just did all that. Shut out we didn't completely. have any like other legal paperwork sorted out, which is a which is now something that I have learned, and I now appreciate that at least I learned my lesson that of of getting your legal shit worked out um, when releasing music with a band, because if you don't, you can get screwed over just like this. No matter how good of friends you think that you may be, you never know how things will turn and how people will turn on you. So, life lesson learns the music industry cutthroat is confirmed. So, anyways, you live and you learn. And I don't make any money off of these Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, all those things. I don't make any money off the stream revenue, off of the iTunes purchases, off of any of that. And I was okay and couldn't live with that. All I wanted was to re-release my stuff on my YouTube channel because they deleted all the music videos and lyric videos off of their channel. So I wanted to, at the very least, re-release it on my channel so that all of you guys could enjoy it and I could have it in one spot where all, you know, my video music content is on. I explained to band member A that all of this stuff, plus the fact that if you wanted me to turn monetization off because you didn't want me to make money off of the, your, the, the songs that you're claiming are only yours and I apparently had nothing to do with, then I would turn monetization off. If I don't even make a dime off of it, it would still be worth it for me to have the YouTube channel. That should show that I just want it for the love of the music that we made. And I also said that if you wanted me to keep monetization, if I made money off of it, I would send you guys half of the revenue. I would just, I would send it to them. Everything. Really but of course, the responses come back. Was They're settled interested. at that point. Don't want to do that. Um, I said, at the very least, can you retract the copyright strike? Because they could retract it. No. Can't. I said no, and we're sorry if you so uh, don't understand. So stupid, man. And I explained to them to try to remind them of some... Because I even said, I'm like, I don't, I, never, I don't think I've ever done anything bad to you guys. I, like, I would love them to name one bad thing that I did to them. Like, if you're watching this right now, leave it in the comments. Comment below what I did that was so wrong and bad to you. Like, I genuinely want to know. Like, why band member A and B, who should definitely know who I'm talking about, and maybe even the manager, hate me so much. What did I do to you guys? Like, what did I do? Like, I just don't understand. So, anyways, I wrote long text messages. I also wanted to remind them of all the good things, and these are things that I want to tell you guys about stuff that happens. I mean, throughout the band, I came into the band in 2017. It was originally with four people. We couldn't find a drummer for a long time, and eventually we found a great drummer. But during the whole recording process, we didn't have the drummer, it was just the four of us. And it was mainly band member A, B, and me that were the three that are like literally physically on the track, or however you wanna call it. Um, basically all the vocals obviously was recorded by me. Um, and band member A and B recorded all the guitar and bass and even the software drum programming and producing and mixing of it. So, I mean, if you even broke it down to who was 
literally on the track you are hearing, I am one third of what you are hearing on there. Correct. I'm not claiming to be the entire thing, but it just sucks that there's that these that you can be screwed over legally like this. But you're there three fourths of the time. You're a parent. Literally on the tracks. Singing yeah. and screaming the words that you make. The lead vocalist is one of the most important parts of the band. Let this be a lesson to any of you it's guys that are in who they want the most. Usually fans that don't listen to instruments, make sure you don't play instruments, are, don't have appreciation you know, for that, and they catch on to the vocalist, the appearance much appearance like myself, the and parents, the fact that you're a good person pisses me off if this happened to you, man. So that nobody is screwed over, because in this case, I was the one that got screwed over, and I had to learn this the hard way. And, you know, bad things happen and you just got to learn lessons from them. Instead of dwelling on it and just beating yourself up over it, you just got to learn lessons. And, that, and I'm taking this as a very hard earned, learned uh, lesson that is just very unfortunate and unfortunately affects you guys because they, I, I also explained the fact that I have all these people that love these songs to listen to them, everything like that. When have you guys seen my these top 10 on Spotify B or the band account in general Really reach out and reply to your comments. Keep you guys updated on what's going on with the bands and everything. When have you guys last heard an update from them? You guys can check their account if you know it. Did you guys even remember that you're still following them? Because it may have been that long since they posted. You may have forgotten. In my previous statement when I originally left the band, I said that there was a chance that we, could, we may collaborate in the future. All this other stuff. There is no chance of us collaborating in the future. With how they made things and... Every, it's toxic as fuck. Every single thing as far away to separate me from them. Me and my previous band will never collaborate on anything. They have made that perfectly clear. They want literally nothing to do with me for... I, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I could tell you. So, if you want to keep following the band account... To maybe get your yearly update from them, <laughs> if you get that yearly go update, right ahead. I still I won't hold it against you. If you're supporting me, you can support whoever you want. But if you're only following the that's fans, a genuine good person, guys. That I might do something with them again or whatever and stuff. Then even though there's shit going on different. between him and somebody else, <laughs> he doesn't include I everybody that this into video it. Video is kind of all over the place and it's really long. It, if you are watching, I like to stir up the shit, though. It's kind of fun. The end, just really, to, really, really to rile them up a bit. I got a surprise so, at the end of this. Let me explain some of my experiences in the band. For one, we never really got to... Band member A and B were great friends before like we all got together as a group. They were already super tight, childhood kind of friends, and, and so was the manager. So the three of them, tight as can be. You know, stepping into everything, I mean, when I first met them, I was like, wow, I, like... I really jam out great with them. It just came natural. We literally improvised our first band practice and started writing the words to Atlas like from like pretty much practically day one. And it was amazing. I and mean, I was very excited. Um, anytime I'm trying to make a band happen, I always have the intention of this being the band for life. Like I'm not, I'm not in it for just some, you know, half-assed kind of little hobby thing. Like I am all in with music. Like that is my long-term goal. I work with animals and I love working with animals, but music is the long-term career goal. The working with animals is my income to support that dream. I'll always be doing stuff with animals in the future too, it's to some extent, but I don't want it to always be my like main job and main source of income. I wanna to tour the world. I wanna be able to like go with people that are like my best friends and brothers and just and write all these lyrics, release all this stuff, meet as many of my supporters and everyone that supports the journey of the bands and everything and stuff and listen Please to the Please come to Illinois can, soon, man. See all the different I'd be happy to meet you. Express my passions on as many stages as I possibly can. So I never had an intention of it coming to an end or anything like that. But when it comes to a band, I mean, it's basically like, I mean, just like relationships are hard to handle, a band is like having multiple relationships at once. Fast forward after us working together for some time. We never really hung out that much other than a couple of rare occasions. We really never like hung out just to like hang out, like go screw around, do something like for fun. We went to like a warp tour together. 
and you know we went out to eat a couple times together but like it wasn't much and the reason we did it was because we were constantly working and grinding and making the ep happen because we just wanted to like we wanted to go and i was super on board for that but my reason for saying this is just they honestly never really got to know me like honestly they may think that they know me so well but they really don't there's a lot that they don't know about me and they never really got to like see what kind of friend I truly am because we pretty much were just always working on music and doing music related things constantly. But over the course of time, it started getting to a point less where, of a connection, you know, just kind of more felt, of an obligation. It kind of felt like, you know, the band and me, if that makes sense. Like basically like they're all getting close and everything was like tight knit. It's cool. And then it just kind of felt like it was me. Like, I was an outsider that was working with them. Like, that's just kind of the vibe I felt. I can't really exactly explain why um, when it first started, but I just felt it. Um, and if you've ever felt that way in a friend group or a band or anything like that, maybe you can relate. But, yeah, and then it just started turning into, we had group checks with the bands, and then a couple of them would start arguing on and off. They'd have complaints, they'd, they'd argue over, like, very small things. I'm not talking about everyone in the band, but a select one or two of them would just, they would start getting in arguments. And then the group chat started becoming stressful to the point where I'm just like, it got to a point where almost every day I'm, I'm like wondering, oh boy, like, are we going to have to try to diffuse like another, another issue again in the group chat? It became a stressful, annoying thing that I was like, this is so immature and so like, childish like why are we arguing over like literally the smallest dumbest things one of the band members definitely would get offended and triggered very easily and had a very short temper band member b there got to a point where band member b specifically started just seeming like he just really didn't like me and i don't understand why or what i did but it just got to that point where he'd start petty little arguments over like the smallest things and then when I tried to literally explain what I was trying to say he'd just get super angry and triggered and then something like ridiculous like send me a picture of a burger he's eating and say mm, look at this juicy burger <laughs> for those that don't know I'm vegan and I'm just like what are you five? I was gonna say that like, was random as hell okay I that makes sense that, that he's going for the vegan argument you eating a beef burger is something new okay like 75 percent of the world eats beef burgers so like <laughs> like you think i don't have friends that are you think all my friends are vegan you think i don't eat with my non-vegan friends it's just little stupid things like that that i'm like that doesn't offend or trigger me That's and then attempts of he would alienating you like are you triggered bro bro are you triggered when i would just try to literally explain my side of things and not understanding why he's angry like it would just be ridiculous things like that and it got to a point where you know i just i started just keeping my mouth shut about a lot of stuff because i didn't want there to be more problems and i felt like the more i talked the more that band member b would just hate me for like like i don't know why it just so it just started feeling like walking on eggshells and not knowing when you were gonna like, you know, trigger him and he'd blow up. Because he also got into arguments and uh, big fights with other band members um, during various times throughout the years. And it was just, it just started getting old. Um, it got to a point where then in the recording process, I didn't tell them how to write their guitar parts or their bass parts or their drum parts. I didn't, I, I wouldn't, I don't tell anyone, you know, that's not my, Thing. Of course, yeah, we can all put our input in. We could all, you know, try to compromise on things and if we have ideas. But I'm not going to just sit there and tell someone how to, you know, write their bass or guitar part. So they pretty much did everything instrumentally. But I remember A and B and then for the EP. And then, you know, when it came to lyric writing and my parts, I always had to, for some reason, run pretty much almost line for line of my lyrics through band member B to make sure it was like, you know, masculine enough and not too cliche and all these different things and like again i'm not trying to say that you can't work together and obviously i don't want to like put lyrics that someone in the band like hates them but at the same time having to like the the kind of atmosphere it started creating was a toxic walking on eggshells atmosphere of, i was about to say i that. really like that oh 
walking on eggshells. The process of this guy approving it, and it started becoming like it was like everything had to be approved by it. this guy. And band member A would always be like, "Oh, well, let's see if band member B likes that first. And I'm like, "Can I like write anything on my own without it having to run through him?" Because I, every guitar strum doesn't get run by me. Not that I want it to, but it's just it almost seemed like it didn't work both ways. There was that aspect of it that was just very frustrating, annoying. Don't get me wrong, I love all the lyrics that I made and all the lyrics I did write, but at the same time, it was just the again. There's a way of being able to like compromise with people and then a way of it almost feeling like a dictatorship and that's kind of what it started feeling like and another big red flag that should have been for me was the fact that anytime we bring up the origin of the band band member b would always refer it as him and band member a's bands like like it's it was clear it was their baby and the rest of us were stepping into it just like visitors it, their band so stupid i say we formed in 2017 because that's when me two guitarists and a bass player formed together uh using software drums to program the ep and looking for a drummer to me that was the start of the band because that's when we started you know getting for everything yeah band member a and b started record writing and recording demos for all this stuff years and years ago when they were just together on their own, they used a lot of those ideas, but then like, you know, made them a lot better and modified them to what the EP turned into. So, Bam member B would always refer to the band as starting back when him and Bam member A were in middle school, because that's when they started writing guitar demos and oh, everything God. like that, and general ideas for the instrumentals. It always would just feel very hostile Whenever, just, why would they approve like a member like they don't like? It makes no sense. Triggered the fact that I would say that it, it, we formed in 2017, but that's when we formed as a group officially, and then we came out on social media. You know, if they wanted to have their own band with whoever the hell they wanted, why would they include somebody they didn't like and then just play it off as, oh yeah, this guy's cool, oh yeah, he sings well, so we'll keep him, but then treat you like shit. That's not right, man. I've been running my Instagram since 2016. Posting music stuff and building a following on there. I wish I jumped but on Instagram back then. That I am claiming that that's the origin of my band whenever I have a new band again. Like, anyways, when I would be live streaming on Instagram or talking on my story, the smallest things would trigger band member B to the point where if I just, in passing conversation, somebody asked me a question about some of my bands, and then I'm like, oh yeah, um, my bassist or my guitarist, blah, blah, blah. Band member B would have a problem with me making that comment. And you're probably wondering what was the problem. Well, the problem was because I said my guitarist or my bassist as if it's my guitarist. Like, I'm being like, like, they are my guitarist. You think that's, you think that's how I meant it? Like, it's just an easy way to say it because you're my A guitarist. A simple man, right? if you misunderstanding said my to me, I would have led no to so it. much toxicity. So it was just the most petty, immature little small things adding up, adding up, and short-temperedness by band member B. That and and band member A just kind of, just literally just being on autopilot, just letting him do whatever kind of thing. It just it was just ridiculous, and it just started becoming a toxic you know environment, especially after the EP was released. Um, in 2019, we played a couple official. Aula is an amazing site. People shut like the fuck up, Aula. The EP was released. Um, in 2019, we played a couple official shows together, and they were amazing. I loved it. As a vocalist, I wanted to, you know, reserve my voice a little bit for the shows, and I also... Technical shit happens, sorry. Stuff. What can I say? Involved. At least I synced and it up again. There would be some practices I got the laptop that, you know, playing at the same time as the speaker. Like ten times, I'm not gonna go full blast hard every single time, because you're gonna blow your voice, and, but not everybody understood that, because none of them were vocalists, so... Band member B would think that I was like, you know, half-assing and skimping out and being lazy at band practice sometimes if we wanted to run the song a fifth time and I wasn't going full-blown blast of every single line of every single word. It's not that I'm not practicing. I am practicing. And I still went through the movements and, and the lyrics in my head as the song was going and still did singing and stuff. It's just I'm trying to keep my voice good if we have a show in a few weeks. And for the first show, I did actually go too hard at the previous practice just because I felt that pressure from them that I needed to, like, almost prove myself to them. Over-sing or scream? Why? Um, that I could do the show. 
even though I have just as much live music experience, if not more than they do. I definitely, for that first show, I definitely was not 100% vocally because That's of how hard I went at the previous practice. No. And again, you know, just, there was no understanding of that. Um, also, I'm not somebody that needs to be hyped up. I'm not somebody that like needs somebody to be like, oh, you're doing a really good job to like motivate me. Like I really don't need that. I just did this anything, hilarious I, thumbs I up thing. People throwing dirt in my face, like, like what's happening right now is motivation. So, you know, continue to be better and grow as a person and everything like that. But I felt like there was constantly always compliments to all the band members, you know, distributed except for me. It was always like, oh, this one's doing an amazing job. This one's doing an amazing job. This one's doing an amazing job. But when it came to me, there was like never really, or I won't say never, but I'll say rarely ever compliments, especially from band member B. But yeah, you'd be quick to compliment all the others, which is totally good. And they all fully deserve those compliments. And again, I'm not saying I need someone. Once again, great person, me, guys. It just got to the point where it not sour it felt in like any if way. They were even gonna say anything to me. It was gonna be a criticism and never a good thing. I also started getting the the to the point where it started feeling like I was being hated on by some of them in the bands just because of the fact that I had a following. I thought having a following would have been good because that brings instant fans to the bands I'm in. Yeah. And I was the only one in the band Marketing that genius. online presence before this Nothing band wrong with that. So that carried over and yeah, majority of our followers and probably I hate our this chair so much, it makes so much noise. Probably are people that were following me on Instagram first, and I'm not trying to say that to be conceited, but it's just it's true. When you have somebody that's been grinding and working his ass off, which is me, I don't know why I'm speaking in third person, that, you know, I'm, since 2016 on Instagram and 2014 on YouTube, I've been building that platform. And that's the reason you're probably watching this video right now, is because I built this platform. And when and friendships. our shows came, yeah, there would be family you care about people, man. The occasional friend or two of a couple band, of, of um, our band members, but, you know, not to criticize them, but for the most part, the, the, bulk of the crowd that came to our shows was my friends and people that I got to come out. They brought other people, don't get me wrong, but it, you know, it was mostly just family and for, if anyone. So it's just, there was things like that. You can't see it right now, but the body language, get other people the awkwardness that he feels is feeling, showing like, that he they felt like I feels bad about saying this. This is a thing. really good thing really example of because he's not saying, look at my crowd, look at how important I am. You guys didn't get shit. He's saying, I didn't mean to do that to you. Even though he did nothing wrong. He's that caring that even though they stabbed him in the back at this point, he still respects them. this show after talking to a promoter in the area that runs a lot of the shows in this area. We played the show, we had no clue if we were getting paid or not, we just assumed we weren't because they never said anything about pay, and this was our first time doing a show with this promoter. So, I always hang around, anyone that wants to meet me or talk to me, whatever, I am there, like, constantly meeting. Needing help to unset or set up, I am there, I'm not the lazy lead singer stereotype. I will help if they want me to help and tell me what to do and everything. Um, I'm more familiar with the drum set, so I usually load and unload the drum set more with help, but if anyone wants me to carry a cab, whatever, I will help them with whatever they want me to help. But at the same time, I do spend a lot of time after the show talking to people because, I mean, I want to talk to everyone who supports me and, you know, just came out and took time and money out of their Friday or Saturday night to come and spend on me and seeing me in the band. I think you can get the so, speaker a little bit closer, you guys. Anyways, I always love doing that, and I, you know, was probably one of the main ones that go out of my way to really spend time and talk with everyone, and at a certain point, I didn't even know where my band was at this last show, after, like, we performed and everything. And the way that they, they, they packed up and everything without me even knowing, they could have came up to me and asked me to help, and I gladly would have, but I was talking to friends and fans and people that came out to see us and eventually I wound up outside talking to people and the way that I found out that they were leaving after not seeing them for a while was the whole band was driving away while I was outside talking to supporters and as they're driving band member B goes and in a joking mocking way 
goes, oh my God, is that Joseph? Or something along the lines of that. Kind of like, you know, being sarcastic. I know some of you guys might be like, oh, he's just joking. But from the way that I had been getting the vibes and being treated by this band member, it just, it, it, it was more of a jab. Yeah. Like I could tell. It's stunning. And my gut doesn't really fail me with that. And and it's just tells me how Ooh, we still got he views Five it versus people how nice. I view Thanks it. Thanks everybody for it as, oh, watching. Like, you know, I'm Mr. Big Shot. Everyone wants to meet me and everything. People would probably want to meet you too if you took the time to go and socialize a little bit. You're not very approachable when you're just like complaining about wanting to leave already and not listening to the other bands. That so was true. another problem I had was there were select band members that just were not supportive of wanting to support other local bands in the scene. And I'm like, how do you expect people to support us if we're not supporting some people also? And I just, I'm a strong believer in, you know, mutually supporting each other as a local community. There would be times that they would be sitting there and just like whispering to each other, roasting and tearing apart bands or whatever and stuff. Um, band member B and A mostly, and the manager. Reasonable and criticism, it but just, it was just like just okay, stupid like, jealousy. You know, like at they're that doing point. what they love. Like let them do what they love. I mean, you can have your opinion. You don't have to like them, but it's like, and you can make a comment or two. I get your close friends, whatever. But I have like, a ton of bands that open that I would never listen to, and then but, be all like, you know, oh, like I would never jump on the stage, so I don't know how it is. You know, hanging around, like it's just. I just, it, it's not the kind of people that I want to associate myself with. It's just, you know, sad to kind of learn more and more that they were like that as time went on. So anyways, yeah, so that's how I found out that my band left was they didn't even say goodbye to me or many people that were there. They just packed their stuff up at one point and left and mocked me and my fans as they were driving away. I stayed to the end of the night and eventually all my friends left one by one because it was a later show and it was after midnight by the time the last band was on. I went up to the promoter and thanked him for putting us on the show and for giving us the opportunity and I really appreciate it. No one else in the band bothered to even do that but I'm a person that likes to establish connections, make new friendships, and I see obviously mutual value mastered it. with a promoter. He makes connections I definitely was better than I've ever seen. For being able to and play he's so young, which is something I talked about in the video the that was deleted that by I these assholes. Like I see stars and Attila play on, I got to play on because this promoter let us on when we were a nobody in the scene. So I really appreciate that. Then he told me, are you staying to the end? And I was, and where's your bands? And I said, oh, my band left. And he's like, well, if you, uh, if you don't stay at the end of the show, you don't get paid. That's when I found out that we were getting paid. And I said, well, I can stay if that counts. And he said, okay. So I stayed to the end of the night by myself for another 45 minutes to an hour. In place of so the of band that drove off the because they didn't the like the music the that they were the night, listening to. Got the money. And the first thing I did was call band member AM, tell them that we were getting, that we got paid and everything and stuff. Now, I'm also telling you guys this to show you what kind of person I am. I'm not saying that I should, I deserve a, a medal award over this. You do? Just so you guys know the kind of person I am, which is what I reminded band member A in the text message. Nobel Prize we winner right here, guys. The fact that he took down the One of the most important people on this planet that cares so like, much more than most. Well, please remember the time that also I could have easily just pocketed that money and you guys wouldn't have known a thing because you didn't even know the money even existed. You know, the, the, the thing is, is that before this show happens, I left a lot of my stuff and equipment at Ben Ray's house. Basically, he told me to, like, take a lot of stuff back home with me after our last practice. And that was kind of a sign right there that I kind of already felt the divide and I felt it even further. Like, I'm just like, hmm, he wants me to take all my stuff home for no really apparent reason. Kyle was starting to get the vibe already that that they they didn't really want me to be in the band. We didn't see each other for a while after that show. And there was very not much talk in the chat, in the band group chat. And I just, I already got the vibe. Like, honestly, I was, I, I kind of figured where they were going with this. We just, me and band member A and B and the manager just, we just weren't, there wasn't just, a, there just was not a lot of clicking personality wise. There was a lot of differences. I mean, they're very, very, very different people than me. Talented as hell musically. It's just a shame that they're so immature 
and handle things in the way that they do and still are and which has showed me now in recent time that they still have not changed so band member a called a for a band meeting at some point i was like okay just got an ad on the I laptop i remember knowing already like I'm just like, they're gonna, they, they don't want me in the bands. That, that's what this band meeting is about. Like, I could already just tell. My gut doesn't usually lie to me. I, I just knew. I went over from the second they walked out. It was just such a dead giveaway. It just, hey, dude. And I'm like, I'm done. Like, I'm like, they don't want me in the band anymore. We sat, we sat down. down. It, was, it was so quiet. The whole energy was just off and just different than it ever had been and a uh, band member a proceeded to basically explain how they want to go in a different direction they know that i want to be versatile both singing and screaming and they only want unclean screaming vocals on their upcoming music and they know that's not what i want so this probably wouldn't be working out and blah 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 and I said, well, I don't have another band, and unless you have another singer, you don't have another singer. So even if you made it official, I wasn't in the band anymore, but I still worked with you guys, so you guys can further the music along, since you obviously like my screams, and obviously I still like your music, even if it's not like, even if I wanted to be more diversified, I obviously still like the heavy stuff that they make. So I was like, why not just, like, I'm glad you're open about it now, but why not just, you're actively looking for a singer and I actively look for a band. And in the meantime, we continue recording stuff together so that at least it's more material for the band and more stuff to add to my vocal portfolio. And they were trying every reason to just suppress that and just, oh yeah, maybe, maybe in the future and blah, blah, blah. Some and shit, then our A and B proceeded to basically say so many lies they began to tell me lie after lie straight to my face. The other two band members were pretty much completely silent. Wait, where the fuck did my vest go? Okay. As I was saying, <laughs> so they Great told transition. me things such as they still want to be friends with me. This doesn't mean I still can't come over for band practices and hang with them. They still want to go to concerts and shows with me. They'll still help me record vocal covers for my YouTube channel and produce stuff for me. Like, they'll, you know, work with me in that aspect. They didn't close the door completely on me possibly collaborating with them in the future, which is why I said in my original departure statements why, what I said. They even told me, which I knew this was bullshit, but they even told me they would help me find another band. <laughs> Come on. So, yes... It wasn't really a mutual departure, but once they started saying everything they said and showing their true colors more and more, it kind of became a mutual departure of me not wanting to be with them anymore. But initially, it was them kicking me out of the band. They kicked me out of the previous bands for the generic going in a different direction, even though I was literally saying I would still unofficially be your vocalist till you got another one. And they didn't want to take me up on that. So they really had more underlying reasons for not wanting me in the band, whether it's just because they just hated me or I think maybe a lot of reason is to do with the fact that they didn't like that the spotlight was being taken away from band member A and B and put on me unintentionally. But I mean, the lead vocalist and the front man is definitely in the spotlight. And I always credited and shouted out even at all our shows showing my highlights i showed just i showed also highlights and shouting out all of my guitar players bass player and the drummer always explaining how amazing and talented they are talking about on live streams shouting out my stories and everything like that i never was trying to turn it into the jcb 47 show which is what i felt like is there was one of the big reasons why they didn't want to continue working with me is because they started seeing that the majority of their following on social media and people listening to stuff and coming to the shows was because of me and I guess not everybody's ego could handle that. Yeah, they misread and you and saw you growing I a super ego that they had themselves. By myself, with no help. And they were in denial of it. To build the following and platform that I have created today and I'm constantly trying to build further and further and further up. It's not my fault that they didn't do the same thing when they were looking for a band. 
And I thought that that would be good because it's growth and success for all of us. Yep. Because as I rise higher and higher with the bands, mm -hmm. I want everyone to succeed with me. I want to bring them to the top with me. Why do you think that I always am making friends with local musicians and trying to support for support and all these different things? Because I want all of us to succeed together that have genuine, authentic hearts and real awesome talent. And I guess the, you know, yes. A and B just don't feel the same way. On that final day that they kicked me out after they already told me, I brought the money. This is the first time I saw them since the last show we played. I brought the gig money that was their cut. I could have been like, fuck you guys, I'm out, and just not even spoken about the money. They were going to say to keep the money, but no. No, that's not the kind of person I am. You guys earned the money. So I gave everybody their cut. On the day they were telling me they kicked me out. If that doesn't at least tell you somewhat of the person that I am in this situation with this band, then I don't know. I give credit, I give payment, I give whatever where it's due, regardless of how they do me. That's the person I am. I'm a man of my word. I'm honest. So I reminded band member A of so many other things that I did and not making a big deal of the fact that I don't make a dime off of any of these songs, even though majority of the Spotify streams and iTunes purchases and things like that are probably from a lot of my friends and a lot of you guys that follow me on Instagram and YouTube. But I didn't make a big deal of that. But I can't even have the music and the songs on my YouTube channel for free. I tried talking and talking and I tried every everything I could to, to avoid making this video and to try to have this music up for you guys and for myself. And obviously, um, I am making this video, so it's not going to happen. They are stuck on that, did not retract the copyright strike. I already got the copyright strike situated, though, so um, in August, the copyright strike will expire for my channel, so I'm good on that. But I cannot re-upload the music video of Atlas, the lyric videos for Colonizer War, or any of the songs on the entire six song EP. They said that I have permission to post live show footage and that all I need is the permission from the person who recorded the show footage and that's my family and friends because you think that you think that when they had the manager videographing and taking a bunch of pictures, you think he got much of me? No. Um, he got a few good pictures of me, don't get me wrong, from the first show, but other than that, no. <laughs> we were basically, it's funny, they treated me like I was your typical stuck-up, cocky, all-about-me lead singer, when really the lead singer syndrome of the bands was on band member A and B yep. instead of me on um, the way that they acted, especially band member B, and band member A would just kind of go along with it and just kind of let him do whatever and be kind of like the sheep. Band member A was like the unofficial leader that they all looked to as a leader for some reason. I don't know, because he was pretty much just a sheep to band member B and listening to everything that he would do, and I don't know if he's scared of him or just because they've been best friends for a long time. But it's sad how things end up. And it's sad that I have to make this video, and I know that they're going to try to turn this around and make me the enemy and be like, oh my gosh, you know, he's slandering us. And Guys, honestly, I'm just telling you the truth on how I feel and what actually happened, and yeah. I wouldn't have made this video if you guys would have just let me use the songs on my YouTube channel. That's all I was asking for, and I don't think that's much. I mean, if anything... It would have been smart exposure for you guys for me to credit all of you guys and if the thing blows up on my channel that's good for everybody because it's more exposure for all of us yeah but obviously and monetization obviously you band member a and b specifically is gonna go great are ashamed of the music that we made and are not proud of it just because maybe i'm on it i don't know what their reasoning is and they don't care at the expense of you guys enjoying it and that pisses me off that aspect of it really pisses me off because it's out of my control. And I told you guys I was going to be re-releasing this because I had permission that was false information, obviously, since now they attacked me legally and told me what they told me. So they've showed their true colors. 
And I sent one final text to band member A after he told me everything that they're basically not budging on anything. Won't remove the copyright strike, won't let me post the music. And yeah, sorry if, if, if I don't understand why. <laughs> so I sent the text message back saying that, in other words, like, thank you for showing me your true colors finally after all this time that you never showed me before in the band. Yep. And I hope that they're happy with the decisions they've made. And now they are literally proving that everything they said that final night when they kicked me out of the band was complete and utter bullshit. It was fake. They were fake to my face, but yet they want to legally attack me behind a computer screen. And I can barely get one of them to text me back because it took almost like a day to get a reply back each time. And it took Pathetic. actually four or five days for one response. That's just so immature and cowardly. Like, sorry, <laughs> at Joseph. least say it to me on the phone or to my face, like, of, of how you guys really feel. Yep. And obviously you guys never did. And at least you wanted was and honesty. Then you guys don't even want to make things better. You guys just want to make things worse. When I never did anything to you guys. Nope. I just don't understand that. But teach their own. They made their choice. You guys can make your choice on who you want to continue supporting. If they plan on continuing to do music, I don't know because you know there probably hasn't been an update on their page in like over a year, even though they said there was going to be an update soon and. Over a year later, I'm pretty sure there's still no update. <laughs> they haven't even told you that I departed from the band. Probably because of the fact that they didn't really have a reason to kick me out of the bands. And they knew I was making a He's statement. He's not in any so of their posts on Instagram. In I heads, I'm checked. guessing that majority of the following of the band is my followers. So I'm pretty much covering the whole thing. But essentially, to me, that's pretty unprofessional to not even make a statement when you're kicking out your lead singer as to why or at least that you're doing it in the first place like at least man up and you know say what you're doing and how are you guys moving forward like are you gonna let the people that want to hear more from my previous bands like people that still want to hear more if there's if there's still people out there that want to like are you gonna tell them because i like to keep my supporters and followers up to date and be interactive with them because I appreciate and care about each and every single fucking one of you guys. And I mean, if I was a fan of this band, I would definitely not feel like I, uh, I was a valued supporter, but I hope that if you're supporting me and following me, that you feel valued by me because I really appreciate it. And I'm every very, very sorry single time my control and I can't release these songs. You share the love on my YouTube that channel. we give to you, man. While I'm recording you send this, it right back. still, streamable on spotify apple music and amazon everything like that so jam away uh doesn't make me money but you yeah. know what if you want to hear my lyrics and all that kind of stuff that's awesome yeah i want to hear your I voice so always i wanted to share your voice for the songs even if i can't your talent the songs. your passion just so you guys know what all the lyrics no, are because the band blocked I, me again, too like i said i put my heart and soul into that stuff obviously i'm much less of an importance but songs still that we made it's so I stupid can't wait till i have my own band where i can come on the scene with a lot more new stuff but in the meantime feel free to jam out to that do what you guys will with this video but i wanted to be upfront and completely honest with you guys because i unfortunately had no other choice to because i am forced to not now basically use at least half or more than half of months of content i had planned for you guys on instagram and youtube so anyways that's life that's the real story if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section. And if you know somebody that was a fan of my old band that doesn't know about this, feel free to tag them in the comments too so that they're aware. And I'm terribly sorry for all this, but life will move on. And I have bigger and better things planned in the future anyway. And I know the future is bright. And I'm super happy and excited for everything that I have in the works and for once I'm able to release original music with my own bands in the future. Um, there will be new stuff that I will <laughs> not make this legal mistake ever again. And yeah, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Thank you. If you stayed to the end of this video, thank you so much. Like you're amazing. Thank you guys too I for really, joining. Really, really appreciate that. You're I so important. That enough. Turn those notifications on, on that YouTube, dedication Instagram, is very hard to find those, so and i would have never sure thought about making that kind of friendship with my fans if it weren't for on. joseph um or one YouTube of my biggest JC idols watching right now um subscribe support 100 percent and yeah 
Leaving comments, a million like, percent, videos, a billion like percent, really helps a zillion me. percent, uh, infinity so percent. I would appreciate the hell out of that if you guys continue doing that. Thank you so much for listening to this, and I will see you guys in the comments and on future content. The future is bright. Can't wait to show you guys all I have in store because this is just the beginning. Nice. Okay, that was the entire video, completely reacted to by myself. I've never seen it before. Every single video I've ever watched in my reactions, I've never seen it before, I've never listened to it. I will sample a, like a couple seconds of something just so I can get the gist of what I'm listening to. Because there's gonna be times where I go, oh yeah, this is a super cool metal band, and then it'll be like a piano ballad from them. And I'll be like, whoops. <laughs> but either way, I wanna promote the right things, I wanna do the right thing, and to do that, you have to go and take risks. You have to say things like, Fuck for those who fought. You don't mean anything to me. And I'm not going to play your song anymore. I don't want you to get any of the rights of my friend's music, of his awesome lyrics. Every single thing that he put into it was amazing. And I love that part of it. Knowing that you guys are sacks of shit that decide to take things from people who actually have passion and act like little bitches when it comes to getting hard, hard reality that you probably don't matter as much. Suck it up and keep going. Your band is supposed to be a family. It's supposed to be where every single person feels like they belong. You don't outcast anybody. They are there till the end with you. This guy had more passion than you ever will in your fucking life. And you missed out on that. So let's do what I wanted to do from the beginning of this video. I was thinking about it. I was like, mm, should I play the music at the end? Now nah, get copyrighted and then fucking blocked again. This is a black tank top that I own. I have a giant field in my backyard, and I'm a vocalist. I enjoy screaming and singing. And I'm gonna give you guys a sample of what's coming soon. I've been searching for the answer Been betting all my prayers Ready to do what no one dares I don't care if they all stare This life isn't fair I'll do it on my own And I really don't care That's for you, Joseph. I don't really care either. I want you to do it alone. I want you to be successful alone. You don't need these ass hats anymore. Thanks for watching, guys. Everyone have an awesome day and stay safe out there. Peace.